All right, because I haven't gotten the part of the technology to work, I'm going to be reading these in two separate videos. This first video is going to be section 1.1 and 1.2. You probably think your parents are pretty old. Well, think again. They actually belong to the newest human species on the planet, Homo sapiens, or wise man. And so do you. We'll begin our story with this species. The main idea is the evidence uncovered by scientists helps us learn about our early human history. Geologic and archaeological time. Earth is around 4.5 billion years old, yet Homo sapiens have existed for only about the last 200,000 years. Scientists know this because they have found fossils and artifacts that belonged to this species. Fossils are the remains such as the bones and teeth of organisms that lived long ago. Artifacts are human-made objects, such as stone tools. These items provide some of the best clues to prehistory or the time before written records existed. Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. Scientists called archaeologists interpret artifacts. These scientists piece together evidence that tells the story of what happened at a site many years ago. Scientists sometimes use geologic techniques to find out how old fossils and artifacts are. Oops. For example, they can figure out how old an artifact is based on how deeply it is buried in layers of dirt. In a site that hasn't been disturbed over time, dirt builds up in layers, with younger layers covering the older ones. Scientists know that fossils and artifacts lying in the deepest layers are the oldest. Origins in Africa Early Homo sapiens looked very much like humans do today. It is now widely accepted that the species first appeared in Africa. Earlier hominins, or human-like species, like Homo habilis or Homo erectus, are believed to have lived in Africa for millions of years before Homo sapiens. In 1967, a team of scientists led by Richard Leakey found some of the earliest fossils of modern humans, but his theory didn't hold any water. The team discovered two Homo sapiens skulls near the Omo River in the Great Rift Valley of East Africa. The skulls were originally thought to be 130,000 years old, but a more recent dating has determined them to be about 195,000 years old. Homo sapiens lived during the Paleolithic Age, a period that began around 2.5 million BC and ended around 8,000 BC. The period is also called the Old Stone Age because the people living then made simple tools and weapons out of stone. It was a time of dramatic changes in geography and climate. It was also a time when modern human development and human history began. Section 1.2, the elements of culture. Maybe you've heard the saying, you are what you eat, but did you know that you are also what you speak, what you wear, and what you believe? All of these behaviors and many others help identify you with your particular blend of cultures. The main idea is studying the culture of Homo sapiens in the Paleolithic age helps reveal how people lived. What is culture? Culture is a big part of human development. All the elements that contribute to the way of life of a particular group of people make up culture. These elements include language, clothing, music, art, law, religion, government, and family structure. Culture is passed down from parents to children and greatly affects our behaviors and beliefs. It influences people to do things in a particular way, such as eating or avoiding certain foods. It unifies a group and distinguishes that group from others. Language, art, tool making, and religion are the elements that were the most important in defining early cultures. Even early Homo sapiens communicated through speech, create, created cave paintings, made and used tools, and buried the dead. However, groups of people often did things slightly different. These differences reflect each group's technical knowledge, artistic styles, and available natural resources. As you've learned, cultural behaviors are passed down from generation to generation, but they can also change over time, or like the ability to make stone tools, be nearly lost altogether. In part, scientists study prehistoric cultures to learn how these cultures differ from modern cultures and discover what they all have in common. Information about modern cultures is often provided by archaeologists called anthropologists. The 
Artifacts archaeologists uncover help them piece together a picture of early humans' cultural behavior and daily life. For example, by studying tools uncovered at a prehistoric site, archaeologists learn how advanced people who made them were and what jobs they needed to do. In addition, comparing artifacts from different sites can explain why one group was more successful than the other. Comparing artifacts from different time periods helps explain how people changed and developed. This knowledge helps us see thousands of years into the past so we can better understand the present and predict the future. Please stay tuned for sections 1.3 and 1.4.